This is the Catholic Daily Mass readings and reflections for Easter Thursday. Thanks for joining today's Mass readings and reflections. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends and family. Opening prayer. Most high glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart and give me Lord a correct faith. a certain hope a perfect charity sense and knowledge so that i may carry out your holy and true command first reading a reading from the acts of the apostles chapter 3 verses 11 to 26 while he clung to peter and john all the people ran together to them in the portico called solomon's astounded and when peter saw it he addressed the people men of israel Why do you wonder at this or why do you stare at us as though by our own power or piety we had made him walk the god of abraham and of isaac and of jacob the god of our fathers glorified his servant jesus whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of pilate when he had decided to release him but you denied it the holy and righteous one and asked for a murderer to be granted to you and kill the author of life whom god raised from the dead to this we are witnesses and his name by faith in his name has made this man strong whom you see and know and the faith which is through jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all and now brethren i know that you acted in ignorance as did also your rulers but what god foretold by the mouth of all the prophets that his cry should suffer he thus fulfilled repent therefore and turn again that your sins may be blotted out the times of refreshing may come from the presence of the lord and that he may send the christ appointed for you jesus whom heaven must receive until the time for establishing all that god spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old moses said the lord god will raise up for you a prophet from your brethren as he raised me up You shall listen to him in whatever he tells you and it shall be that every soul that does not listen to that prophet shall be destroyed from the people and all the prophets who have spoken from the Samuel and those who came afterwards also proclaimed these days You are the sons of the prophets and of the covenant which God gave to your fathers saying to Abraham and in your posterity shall all the families of the earth be blessed God having raised up his servant sent him to you first to bless you in turning every one of you from your wickedness the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response o lord our god how wonderful your name in all the earth o lord our lord how glorious is your name over all the earth what is man that you should be mindful of him or the son of man that you should care for him your response o lord our god how wonderful your name in all the earth you have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor you have given him rule over the works of your hands putting all things under his feet your response o lord our god how wonderful your name in all the earth all sheep and oxen is and the beast of the field the birds of the air the fishes of the sea and whatever swims the paths of the seas your response o lord our god how wonderful your name in all the earth gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia this is the day the lord has made let us be glad and rejoice in it alleluia alleluia A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 24 verses 35 to 48 As they were saying this Jesus himself stood among them and said to them Peace to you But they were startled and frightened and supposed that they saw a spirit and he said to them Why are you troubled and why do questionings rise in your hearts See my hands and my feet that it is I myself Handle me and see For a spirit has not flesh and bones as you see that I have. 
And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and wondered, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate before them. Then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Apostles carried out their mission with the power of the Holy Spirit bearing witness to the resurrection of Jesus. It was the mission entrusted to disciples to bear witness to the gospel of Jesus. Even in our day, all Christians are entrusted with the apostolate in one way or another. Catechism of the Catholic Church 900 teaches, All the faithful are entrusted by God with the apostolate by virtue of their baptism and confirmation. They have the right and duty individually or grouped in associations to work and so that the divine message of salvation may be known and accepted by all men throughout the earth. This duty is more pressing when it is only through them that men can hear the gospel and know Christ. Their activity in ecclesial communities is so necessary that for the most part the apostolate of the past years cannot be fully effective without it. In other words, we are called to be witness to Jesus in our lives and thus advance his mission. Clothed with the power from on high, the power of the Holy Spirit received through baptism and confirmation, we can bear witness to Jesus by our deeds and by our words. This is what the early Christians did, and thus the faith spread quickly, despite persecution to every part of society. This is what Christians today can and ought to do joyfully sharing their faith with family members, friends and co-workers. May God bless you all.